Hi, my name is Kavita Sharma. I'm very happy to announce that I'm going to be starting the question of the day series for the PMP aspirants. Today is the first question. Let's get started. The question is, an Agile team is selecting the representative for the Scrum of Scrum. Select the skill criteria for the ideal candidate. Um, so first question is, what is Scrum of Scrums? You guys know um, that you know, an Agile team has a rule to be a small team. The numbers are not specified in case of PMP exam, but typically it could be 7 plus or minus 2. So think that you would have a small team like, you know, 10 members or 9 members. But what if, if the project which you are doing or delivering is a big project? Think about developing an e-commerce site at this point of time and shortage of time as well. So you might want to have many teams who are working on independent modules. For example, this team S1 is working on let's say security module. Another team is working on products. Third team is working on shipping cart. Another team is working on wish cart and so on. So if these team uh, continue working in isolation, looking at only their own functionality, they have to work together as one product, as one website at the end of deployment, at, towards the deployment. So you don't want to be stuck in a situation when they do not talk to each other. So um, to avoid that, we um, so there is this practice called scrum of scrum a representative from each team takes part in a meeting called scrum of scrums um, so we're talking about this representative as to what should be his skill set how would you qualify that this guy should go and represent our team in sos scrum of scrum so look at the keyword skill criteria so who should be the best person who you feel confident can represent you and can uh, be the best participant for SOS? Uh, a person with good communication skills, is it required? Definitely, this guy needs to present your side of story and come back with the other feedback from other teams. So yeah, I would go with this, but I'm just going to keep it light as of now. This looks green, but let's see. Um, if we have better answers a good tester a good tester is um, you know he's good eye-shaped skill but do you really want to represent this person in the a meeting which um, is to be for the entire you know iteration or the entire product um, so my general hypo you know, general sense is it's, it's not so good an answer. So no, best developer, again, the similar uh, thing I apply, no. The project manager, now this looks like pretty okay. I probably would lead towards it and say, and say, yeah, project manager probably could be one person, but are we looking at role or skills? So again, here I'm just going to keep it a question mark and see if we get a better answer than this or not. A person which understands, who understands the holistic view of the product. Similar type of answer, understand holistic view of the iteration. A person who understand only within the iteration, this is not the person you would want to represent you. A person who, rep, you know, who can think about the entire product would be a better person to go with so in my view and if i look at these two this probably would not be the one whom you would select so um, the right answer would be a good communicator and the person who understand the holistic view of the product understand we're looking for skills we're not looking for a role a title and that's why these three goes for a toss. Um, again, this is a canned person. So you would want to see a person who can come back and um, give you the most out of that meeting, which is mostly communication. So this is the right answer. This is how you would select the right answer. 
that's pretty much from me for today thank you let me know your comments so that i can build on that um do you want me to continue do you want me to add more stuff or any other ideas let me know thank you have a very nice day bye bye